Hi everybody, welcome to my last day of my 12 Days of Christmas Cooking and Crafts series. I've had so much fun coming up with all kinds of easy crafts and recipes that your whole family can do while we're all stuck at home during this holiday season. So today's the last day. All of the previous videos are on my IGTV channel and also on YouTube. And I'm also going to be sending out a newsletter with the links to all 12 of them so you can keep it for future reference. There's nothing that says you can't keep doing Christmas crafts right through New Year's. So if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll be getting that link either today or tomorrow. Um, the link to subscribe to my newsletter is in my profile and also on my blog. So today I have a real treat for you. We're going to make eggnog. If you have chickens, you have to be making your own eggnog. And before you say you don't like eggnog, you've got to try homemade eggnog because it's nothing like the eggnog that you get at the store. And it's super easy to make. So to get started, I have six egg yolks. I separated my eggs. I kept the whites. We're going to use them later. And I'm going to put the six yolks into a bowl. Then into that, I'm going to whisk about a cup of sugar. Actually, exactly a cup of sugar. So I just want to whisk that till it's really well done. So there we go. I'll whisk. I'm going to put that aside for a moment. Now we're going to get started. I've got a saucepan and I'm going to put it on sort of medium low heat. And I'm going to add two cups of milk. You can use whole milk. You can use um, 2%. I don't know about skim. It might be a little bit too watery. And I don't know about any milk substitutes, you know, like non-dairy milk type things. And I just want to heat this really to a simmer. So you don't want your milk to burn. So I'm going to stir it occasionally and also add some spices. I'd say probably cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger would be your three most common nutmeg spices, but you can really add anything you want. Any of the warming spices are great. I am a personal fan of cardamom, so I like to add cardamom to it. You could also do a chai spice or a five spice eggnog. So you really can flavor it however you want to, and you just wanna add your spices to your milk. So I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg. I do like to use, um, fresh ground. Hey, Chris, I'm making eggnog. Um, fresh ground nutmeg. So I've got nutmeg. I'm going to add a little bit of ginger. You can taste it later and add a little bit more. Um, I just like to put some of the spices into the milk to let them infuse. But like any good cook, you're going to taste along the way. Um, oh, and cinnamon. Okay. So anybody who joined a little bit late, we're making eggnog, and all I did was whisk six egg yolks and a cup of sugar, and I put that aside, and then I've got two cups of milk over a medium-low burner, and I've added some spices. I added cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. Probably, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon in total. And I'm just going to stir that to just barely a simmer. You really just want a few bubbles around the edges. I'm gonna put in a little bit too much cinnamon. So I'll just let that go for a minute. I guess the eggs in this are not technically cooked. So if you, um, you know, if you have to worry about raw eggs or whatever, I would only use eggs from your own chickens. I do have a recipe. Actually, I actually have two re recipes for eggnog on my blog. They're completely different. There are just so many different ways to make it. I've tried so many different ways and I just keep tweaking it all the time. Um, but really, all you want to do is you want to heat your milk. Oh, I'll put a little salt in too. You always want to use salt when you are uh, making something sweet, even because the salt makes the sweetness come out a little bit more. We're just slowly heating our milk and our spices. The only thing about this is you want to make it well in advance because you want it to chill. So you probably want to make it the day before um, to give it time to chill overnight. And 
it's starting to steam, so I'm just waiting for some bubbles. We want it to be warm enough that it's going to cook the eggs, but you don't want to dump your eggs into your hot milk. We want to temper the eggs. So anytime you read a recipe that says something about tempering eggs, it means adding a little bit of the hot liquid to the eggs and then slowly combining it so your eggs don't curdle and cook. So we're almost there. The amazing thing about all 12 of these things that I've done this week is I think the longest video was a little over 10 minutes and it was just because I was rambling a little bit. So every single one of these crafts or recipes you can do in less than 10 minutes, which is pretty cool. All right, so it's steaming, got some bubbles, and now I'm just going to take a whisk and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a ladle full of the hot into my egg and I'm gonna whisk it while I add it. This is gonna keep the eggs from curdling. This is a method that you use a lot when you've got a hot mixture and you need to be adding your egg into it. You just do a couple ladlefuls. And then once you've whisked a couple ladlefuls into your um, egg, then you can pour it in to the rest of your mixture. So I want my whisk to scratch. Now I'm just gonna cook this, hopefully at a simmer for two or three minutes. I want it to thicken up a little bit. yellow. At this point, um, I guess you could taste it and decide if you want to add a little bit more spice. You can also add some spice on the top to garnish it as well. Just want to bring this to not even a boil, but just kind of get it simmering. Um, eggs are supposed to be cooked to about 160 degrees, I think. So it is possible that the eggs are fully cooked, but if you're you know, if you're old or young or have a compromised immune system or something, you probably should stay away from anything where the eggs could possibly be undercooked. I'll just give it another minute or two. Why am I thinking vanilla? Yeah, you actually could add some vanilla um, to your, you could put a vanilla bean in when you're um, heating the milk. That would be really good. All right. It's starting to thicken a little bit. As the eggs start to cook, it's going to thicken your, your um, eggnog. And as it chills, it's going to thicken as well. So you, you don't want it to boil because it could curdle. So I'm going to shut that off. And now the fun part. I'm going to add some bourbon and some amaretto. Oops, it's really starting to boil. You definitely want to keep the heat low. Um, the heat is like medium, medium low. I'm doing it a little quicker because, you know, I don't want you to sit here all day while it cooks, but um, I'd cook it really, really slowly. All right, so I'm gonna pour in a cup of heavy cream. And then I'm going to add maybe two ounces, quarter cup of amaretto, and half a cup of bourbon. You can use um, any, really any kind of alcohol that you want, or if you wanted to leave the alcohol out and make it family friendly, just remember that it's the alcohol that keeps bacteria from forming and it's gonna make it last a lot longer. So if you're not adding alcohol, um, you're probably gonna wanna drink it within a day or so. If you do add the alcohol, this can sit in your fridge for a couple days and it's actually going to get better the longer it sits. So I'm just going to stir that up. And now would be a really good time to taste it. It's really good. I could play around with the spices a little bit, but it is really, really good. Um, 
So Chris said no rum. So, I mean, you absolutely could put rum in it. I happen to like bourbon and amaretto. But, I mean, the nice thing about this eggnog is you can put whatever spices, you can put whatever alcohols, you can make all different versions. So I guess this is a little bit, not the traditional, um, but you can use the same basic recipe and use whatever you want. So now we're pretending that our eggnog is, um, is cooled, say it's cooled overnight, and I'm gonna ladle it into my mug. And then the egg whites that we saved, I beat them into stiff peaks with a little bit of sugar, stiff peaks. And you can just take a little spoonful of that. Instead of using whipped cream on top of your eggnog, you can put a spoonful or two of the whipped egg white, which is kind of fun. And then garnish it with a cinnamon stick. And then if you want to put some more, I'll just put a new nutmeg in here and it's not grinding very well. bit of nutmeg on top and there you have homemade eggnog and I promise you that this is the best eggnog you'll ever ever have so I hope you enjoyed my 12 days of Christmas series as I said the whole series is on my IGTV channel and also my YouTube and I'm gonna be sending out an email later with the links to all 12 of my projects and I hope you enjoyed them Merry Christmas and thanks for joining me again. Maybe I'll do something in the spring like a 12 days of Easter series or something. So Merry Christmas everybody.